much tribulations, much trials. Yeah, yeah. We had some victories, but it's all over now. Mm -hmm. We moving and transitioning to a new year. Yeah, yeah. It's a new us. Yeah. It's a new mindset. Amen. Yeah, amen. 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 And so I bless God and I thank I bet Pastor Mark for allowing me to be here. Um, and just to share this word, I thank him. I think it's a divine connection, and I'm looking forward to what God is going to do in times coming. Amen? Yeah. And so I think it's only uh, premature, or in its emphasis, says about grace and mercy and impact um, partnering together to do many things. And so I, I see many exploits. Amen? Amen. 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 And so can you put Deuteronomy 28 up there? Uh, I'm going to start with verse 3, and I'm going to go to about 14. And so I give honor to every person that's in this place. I, I respect every uh, pastor, every deacon, every minister, help, everybody that clean a toilet, everybody that sweep a uh, piece of dirt, everybody that use the vacuum. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 And so I don't have that much time. I want a time limit. But I'm going uh, <laughs> to try to minister to you guys. And the, and the topic that God gave me is... Yes. Let me make sure I get it right. The blessed life is your best life. Amen. Yes. Yes. The best, the blessed life is your best life. And I just want to give a disclaimer because I'm starting in the book of Deuteronomy, which Angie came out of Deuteronomy too. But I'm coming out of Deuteronomy knowing that. We are not under the covenant of law anymore or the dispensation of law, right? right. So in this chapter, they're going to talk about blessings and curses, but we don't operate from that realm anymore, right? Yeah. We don't, it's not what we do and then we get blessed. We already blessed, so yeah. we operate from a place of blessing, yeah. from a place yeah. of victory, yeah. from a place of we are above and not beneath, amen? Yeah. And so even though I'm using this uh, scripture that's in the old covenant, I, I totally recognize that we're in a dispensation of grace. Yes. What, what does that mean, Pastor? That means he's dispensing grace. Yes. You in the dispensation of grace. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to give that, 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 that disclaimer to let you know that I'm not working for, for a blessing. I'm working from a blessing. Yeah. And you can keep trying to get yours. I already got mine. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I ain't waiting on no bad to stop. I ain't waiting for nobody to give me nothing. I'm taking everything that God promised me I should have. Because the Bible says the promise of God are yeah and amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. amen. So when you agree with God, you can possess what he said you can possess. Amen. amen. And so I, wanna, I just want to let you know uh, the blessed life is your best life. We took our kids out uh, not too long ago, and they kept saying, I'm living my best life. <laughs> and we were laughing. We said, they live in, and they said, we're living my best life. Okay. The other part is, look, I'm not going back and forth with you ignorant people. Mm -hmm. I'm not going back and forth with the, 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 the things of my past. I'm not fighting for those things that have me gripped. I'm not going back and forth to the clubs. I'm not going back and forth to the people. I'm releasing all the things that kept me gripped. Yeah, amen. amen. That's right. Glory to God. And so, we begin this with chapter 3. say, blessed shall thou be in the city, and amen. blessed shall thou be in the field. Amen? Amen. And so we know that uh, these blessings come from a, uh, 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 they blessings of obedience. Amen? And so God gives you a thing to do. He speaks to you to, through divine revelation, and we know when God's speaking to you. Amen. And because of our obedience, it calls us to be in a place of blessing, amen? amen. A perpetual blessing, yes. blessing upon blessing, yes. moving from faith to faith yes. and to glory to, to glory, glory. Amen. Yes. amen? And so, and so, so why you people searching for theirs, I already got mine, amen? Yes. amen? And so it's divine promises of a, a national prosperity and, and, and look, security for us as covenant people of God, amen? Do you understand and know that you are a covenant people, right? Yes. But that means that he's a loyal God, right? He has the respect, he has the responsibility to continue to bless you. You got benefits that come in this back. Right? Yes. You got supernatural provision yes. that come in this back, right? And so blessed in this city and blessed in the field. What that means? And blessed in Jerusalem when the worship happened, when the service happened, 
Bible says, he got to repent, huh? Blessed shall you be the fruit of, blessed shall be the fruit of your, thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kin, and the flock of thy sheep. And so he starts off talking about, blessed shall be the fruit of, of the body. But what he means by that, Pastor, he's talking about your children. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about your children, the fruit of your womb, the things that you gave birth to. He's saying that Israel will have many on many of them, but not only will they have many of them, their lives will be blessed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Their health will be blessed. Yes. Uh -huh. They will thrive and prosper uh, because of him. Amen? Amen? And so many of us worry about our children, and we look at the things that they're doing now. But I'm here to declare the decree right now, no matter what your kids are going through, no matter what Sure. 
You can watch the giant fall. And after the giant fall, you got to cut his head off.
and, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words that I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods and to serve me. This is what it's all about. Y'all know that, right? God is a jealous God. Amen. Anything we put before God is an idol. Mm -hmm. If you put your husband before God, that's an idol. Yeah. If you put your wife before God, that's an idol. Yeah. If you put your money before God, that's an idol. How can man, how can you say a man of, man of and, and God at the same time? Mm -hmm. You can't do it. When it's talking about man, it's talking about money. Right. You can't serve money and, and God at the same time. You can't put your job before you put God. Anything you put before God is an idol. And this whole thing is about idols. He's telling them, listen, you should worship no other God but besides me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm the one that brought you out. I'm the one that delivered you from the hands of the enemy. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm the one. He said, and every time that I deliver you, you want to go back. Most of us want to go back. We ask for God to deliver us, but we keep going back to the thing. Yeah. We, we keep running back to the yeah. thing because we acquired our appetite and a desire. We got a soul tied to that thing, and we know it's not good for us, but yeah. we keep running back. But I'll break that so tight right now. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes. Dig it up from the root right now. Yes, God. In Jesus' name. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. The third thing was this. Their standing among the nations will be exalted. With Israel being the head and not the tail, if they listen to the commandments of and can't observe them without deviation. And so this is what he's saying. Your covenant with God will be known in the nation. He said, I guarantee you, I will show myself strong in you. Nobody will be able to overtake you, overthrow you, or overlook you. You will be over overlooked to overbook. He said, if you stay in my word, if you stay committed to me, if you follow me, if you follow my instruction, and you don't go to the left or the right and try to do your own thing, yeah. if you stay firm and let them talk and never say a mumbling word, let them whisper and never say a mumbling word, you just keep straight, you just keep going, yeah. I will exalt you and nations will know your name. Yeah. Folk would know that God on your side. Mm -hmm. You won't even have to tell them. Okay. Folk will know you say. They don't even know you. They'll know you say. If they don't know you say, they'll know you say. They'll either draw to you or they'll repel against you. You'll agitate demons in them, and you can tell they know you say by the twist on their face. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Amen. By the twist on the demon that led to them as soon as you come in the room. <laughs>
The blessed life is the best life. Yes, yes, yes. Tell your neighbor, I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. <laughs> Say, I ain't going, don't cuss though, but just say, I ain't going back and forth. I ain't going back and forth. <laughs> I'm releasing that thing. I'm releasing that thing. That keep calling me back. That keep calling me back. I release you. I release you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And God gave me a specific altar call to do on this. He told me to speak to the people that know they've been disobedient. This is what he said. He said, I have told you to do certain things. I have caused you to leave that man or that woman. I have caused you to walk away. I have caused you to leave that job. I have told you to go to a particular place. He said, you halfway do it. Yeah. He said, half disobedience is full of disobedience. Mm -hmm. He said, so I want you to pray. I want you to call all those that are ready to get back in time with God. All those that's willing to listen to uh, his word and what he told them to go line by line and precept by precept. They're not to look to the left or to the right. He said, Brian, I want you to call those that's willing to get an agreement with me. I want to partner with them and I want to shake nations. I want to change their community. I want to change their marriage. I want their households to be saved. He said, I want you to call those that are serious and committed to me in this hour. That's willing to be obedient. That's willing to be, uh, uh, that's willing to follow me. And he told me most of us didn't follow because of fear. He said most of us didn't follow because of fear. You were scared of what people were going to say. He said, look not upon their faces. You were scared of what people, how people were going to look at you. He said, you were scared that you were not smart enough. You even questioned, why you call me, God? Are you sure you called me, God? Was you talking to me? And you know he was talking to you. That's what he said. He said, my people, some of my people got a phobia. He said, they're scared of the blessing. He said they self-sabotage because they're scared of the blessing. They've been so stricken and poverty and a poverty mindset that, it's, that the blessing is unfamiliar for them and they feel like an attack. Mm. That's what he said. You ever seen a woman in a domestic relationship and then they still love the victimizer and they keep going back no matter what happened, uh, they can beat them, they can whip them, they can shoot them, they can stab them, <coughs> them and y'all ever notice that they still go back? Huh? Because of that soul tie. Yeah. A soul tie. Yeah. They, they, they look, they spiritually connected to a person. Yeah. And you're trying to use a reason in your mind to get away from a spiritual thing. Yeah. You gotta break a spiritual thing by the spiritual power and authority of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And God said, I'm calling my people to be obedient. Not scared. Some of us, listen, he said, I told some of them to write books. He said, they ain't wrote a book yet. He said, they ain't even started on the line yet. He said, I told people that, that, that started ministry. They ain't even walked out yet. They still sitting in the seat. He said, I told people to make songs, make poetry, do poetry. He said, they ain't done it yet. Disobedience. Disobedience. That's who we want me to call. Listen, the thing about disobedience is this. People don't really know what God told you. So, so you, got to, you think you got away with it because I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but God knows. Yeah. You didn't get away with it. You didn't get away with it. You got any kind of music mind. And any kind of, any kind of, any kind of, because we're going to call these people and we're going to pray. And we're going to break some of this stuff. And look, there's no, there's no need to be ashamed or nothing. I 